What's good, world? Welcome back to another great episode of that Gas Mask Tribal. We fell out that bullshit. Yes, I am back. What's the difference between independent labels and record labels? Well, let's hear from a platinum Grammy artist and let's hear from an artist who's on his way to a gra Grammy. People, this is T-Pain. Credited to T-Pain's page and this whole the whole nappy nappy boy entertainment crew. Uh, credited to World. Uh, I'm sorry, not World Star. <laughs> this is from on uh, YouTube, so you can check it out yourself. But I need you guys to hear how I'm going to break this down. I'm going to break it down to its sense where it's literally A, B, and C. You're going to understand what I'm saying when I break this video down. So that's what we're going to do. You did, and oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Welcome, welcome to another great episode of That Biz Tribe. No, I just messed that all up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm independent right now. Yeah. I ain't even got a manager. I don't I don't have a manager. I ain't got no label. I got me and three other people as a team right now. And we running my whole label. We running my label. And we signing people. We 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 fucking we fucking doing our things. I don't know if y'all knew this, but hope you like beans, cause I'm spilling them. <laughs> yeah, we doing we doing everything right now. Me and me and my three person team, we fucking going crazy right now. David Banner has been uh, mentoring me. David Banner's been teaching me everything I need to know about running this fucking music industry. He's been in this shit. Uh, a few years longer than me, so he lets me know the patterns. Now, a lot of people weren't here for the pattern talk, but if you know the patterns, you see everything coming. The reason people go broke, the reason people uh, uh, drop out of the game, the reason people stop doing what they're doing is because they didn't see shit coming. Yeah, he just did like what you did. It just says slash empire. So they just did the. And my distribution is on empire. So yeah. we're literally doing the same fucking. We're literally doing the same situation. Now don't so I'll let him go. Don't let me start preaching up in this bitch. So what he's saying is you can literally run your whole company as an independent label, just like a record label. Currently, as I'm doing now. Um, yes, I have a few artists who I'm putting out, but also I'm an artist up under my label as well. And when you're putting out artists, you can literally operate the same way as a label. You don't need a record label. And he's going to explain why a record label would be needed if you don't have a record label or an independent company that you're working with. I thought we moved past this beat, but I thought we moved past it, but I didn't come here to preach to y'all. <laughs> Boy, I got vocals. Go down low, Buster Rhymes is having y'all. Yes, that was a great album. Y'all make sure y'all go get that album by Buster Rhymes too. It's fucking amazing. Yes, really amazing. Oh, he's independent. Independent. Uh, I love that. I love that journey for Buster. They're asking Rhymes. if independent is the better way to go. It depends on. Uh, it is a lot of facts. I will say this. I will say this. Going independent is is. I was like, going independent is very much like um, Bill Gates skipping college and dropping out of college. Like, Fair absolutely. Fair it's a great idea if you have the resources to work outside of those means. If you don't have money and you don't have any backing, you don't have management or some shit like that, go to a label. They will give you all their money. But keep in mind, here's what motherfuckers don't understand about labels. You're taking their money. You have to pay that shit back. You have to pay that shit back, but that's yeah. not it. Like yeah. when they're like, oh, so-and-so got a $10 million, $10 million record deal. You have to give them back $10 <laughs> right. million. Dollars. You're not going to make a cent until everything you do pays them back that $10 million. So for most people may not, they're like, well, I don't understand that. I don't know how you didn't understand that. That was pretty simple. Uh, if I gave you $10 and you didn't pay me back, 
but you want to get out of your deal. I'm like, bro, you owe me 10 bucks. What happened to the, you know what I mean? Just to make it simplified, just in case y'all didn't understand. You can do whatever you want and you're not going to make. Now people know about that, but here's the thing, bro. You know, that person that you loaned $20 a month ago. See. And now every time that person brings up anything about money, you're like, yeah, but you owe me $20 though. <laughs> That's exactly. how record labels work. Exactly. My nigga, when everybody said, oh, my record label's controlling me and I can't get out of this deal and y'all need to let me go. Bro, the record label pay- sitting back like, you didn't pay your money. you because we gave you $10 million and you think you're going, you, wait a minute. You think you're about to do whatever you want to do with our money? And then you think you're about to get out of your deal scot-free without paying us back our money? You didn't do anything. Your shit flopped. The $10 million we gave you was for you to make a dope project that wasn't going to flop. You already broke your fucking contract. So now you think we're going to let you go away and just get out of this deal while still owing us money? No. First of all, so when people saying that record labels are controlling me and record labels are the devil and it's the Illuminati and boop ka doo ka doo ba doo, we got to blame it on the devil because something must be wrong with God <laughs> if these <laughs> people are controlling the world. And say, no, we made a bunch of money. We gave you some of it, but we gave you some of it because you said you was going to make it back tenfold. Mm. You didn't do that. And now you got to listen to us. And there you go, people. There's more to this. He actually explains more on this. But I had to stop it there because I feel like it was going down a certain narrative. So, labels are good. Contracts is what you have to look at. I know, I get it. Some of you guys are like, no, some labels aren't good. They just there to take your money. Well, they're a business. And some of you guys not understand that, that this is the music business not the music industry. That's the difference. The music business cares about the dollar because it's a freaking business. So if I awarded you a certain amount of money, well, I'm sorry, not awarded you. I'm sorry, I took that back. If I loan you a certain amount of money, okay, let's put it that way, simple terms, where you can understand. I'm going to ask for that money back with a certain type of interest, Um, whether... That's going to be, I received some money from your merchandise. I received some money from your record sales, publisher, whatever that may be, wherever my job is as a record label on contract to for you, I'm going to want to receive money back. It's plain and simple as that. So if you guys are going, I'm, I'm sorry, let me stop myself. I'm like running over my words. If you guys are going to go get a label, if you're searching for a record label, Look at yourself and say, am I willing to pay back the money that they're giving? If not, then you're better off opening up your own label. That's going to get you an EIN number. That's going to certify your company through the state, wherever you're located. That's literally getting you a Dun & Bradstreet so you can receive business credit and start building your business credit. And that way, all of these things that what a label do, you will now do it. But trust and believe you will get the taste and feel of what a label will go through. And you will understand why a label has to do the things that it has to do. People, remember, you only get the deal that you negotiate. You did? This is another wonderful Gas Mask Tribe TV podcast where we feel taught that bull. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this content, please share, like, and subscribe. We would love it. Every time you subscribe, we share, we put out another video. One subscriber, one video, 10 subscribers, 10 videos. People, thank you so much for tuning in. Gas Mask Tribe.